Hey guys, so it's uh, Jacob here. I just want to do something different from my regular videos. Uh, I'm going to do like a review where I guess maybe just talk, not really a review, but talk about my experience that I had at a restaurant I went to uh, the other day. Uh, I went there with my wife on her anniversary. The name of the restaurant is Brew Bakers, and it's located in Fredericton, New Brunswick. And uh, I guess I just want to say, just before I get into this, just so you guys know, I'm a pretty grouchy person. I like to penny pinch, and I don't like liquor. And all of these things probably shouldn't be, like, if you're that kind of person, you probably shouldn't go to this store, to be honest. Like, and I knew that ahead of time. Like, uh, it's a fine dining place from what I could tell. Uh, so the prices are high and the quality of the food and stuff's high. And um, uh, they also serve a, a, a large variety of liquor. In fact, they serve far more types of liquor than they do food. Um so uh, I was probably in the wrong place, but uh, I just wanted to mention that before we just go in and discuss this. So I'd like to point out I had a very nice atmosphere. It was very dark inside. I know that sounds bad, but it actually like I had this comforting feeling about it. Um, and another thing too is you're able to see the cooks as they cooked, uh, which I thought was pretty neat. They had another outside place where you could sit, but for some reason they had a n no one was able to get access to sitting outside. It was probably because it was like windy and cold or something. Um, but yeah, so, uh, they had that closed off, but, uh, as soon as we came in, they, the waitress was, uh, they were very nice. The waitress was available to, uh, was available to take her order almost right away. And to be honest, it wasn't that hard to find something to order because their order or their menu for their main stuff is so small, or at least I thought it was very small and limiting. Uh, I did ask her to make sure there was no liquor that would be introduced into my food, because I know some places cook liquor into food. I know it evaporates out or whatever, but I would just prefer it not to be there. But she just said that it wasn't in any of the food other than the mussels, uh, as far as she knew. But what I really wanted to do was to ask the cooks, but uh, I guess I can let that slide. Uh, so it was about 10 minutes in after we ordered that we got the we got some free bread about four little tiny things uh, that tasted good and they were soft and we got our drinks as well at that point um, admittedly I drank my Pepsi really quick so I wanted a refill which they do provide they did provide me with free refills but it took about 10 minutes to get my second Pepsi and the, to be fair the lady looked very busy um, and then about 20 minutes after that is when we got our uh, we got our ordered appetizers, and my wife ordered uh, some kind of like white ball things, I forget what they were called, and uh, we shared these ribs that she ordered. Uh, they, were, they were in the appetizer section anyways, and they're just four small tiny ribs, and we shared those, two for me, two for her. And I forget the exact price, but I think it was like 13 or $17. I'll list the, the price or whatever in the video from the picture, so you'll see. And it seemed really expensive to me, but... Uh, uh, they were really good. The ribs were really good. The the meat on the the um, the meat on the ribs literally was falling off the bone as I was trying to eat it, which was inconvenient for me. But I understand that that's how people like their meat, so I guess that's a bonus thing. Um, and uh, so it was about an hour and five minutes before before we actually got the food we wanted, uh, or like the main course or whatever. Uh, and the food I enjoyed, I, I got a salad to be honest, uh, which admittedly I thought was a little expensive for the amount I got, especially since they're really cheap on the uh, the dressing for it. But my wife, uh, my wife got a, a couple of things or whatever, or one. I guess she got one main dish, and then she had the two appetizers. And the one main dish she said uh, seemed good, but she didn't actually like the taste of it. Um, but she told the waitress when the waitress asked if we were enjoying our meal, she told the waitress that she was, even though she didn't like the food. But I think the reason she didn't say anything is because it wasn't about the quality. It was just the fact she didn't like what she ordered. Uh, we did notice that while we were sitting and waiting for our food, four people that came in after us were ordered and received their food before we received our food. Um, so, I mean, that was... I mean, it's not a big deal. I understand if their food was super quick to eat, cook or something, but it does give you, like, the feeling that you're forgotten. Um, and I guess my wife didn't enjoy the experience as much as she thought she was going to, but I didn't think it was too bad, but the bill was quite expensive. 
uh, which I'll post so you can see what it looks like. And I guess my overall thoughts are that I probably won't return, especially since it's in the downtown Fredericton. There was some parking on the side, but um, like by there was like a Tim Hortons and stuff beside, and they have a large parking area. But all the signs say don't park here. But apparently you're allowed to park there after six, but it still didn't make me feel comfortable to park there. And parking in general is pretty full down there, so. Uh, but the place must be good, because when we were there, a few minutes after we arrived, like, we arrived and we were the only ones there. But, like, moments later, the place packed up. Uh, so, it must be a good place. It's obviously a later, late night place, fine dining, I guess. Um, like I said, it had a very calming atmosphere. And uh, I guess that's everything I have to say about it. It's not really a bad or a good review, I guess. Um, but I hope you guys are able to take something from this so you can tell if you want to go there or not. Okay, thank you. Bye.